Hello everyone, it's Copes here and today I am back with a Pocket Morty's video. In today's video, I will be showcasing Jelly Morty. Jelly Morty is number 118 and he is a paper type. I recently got this Morty to level 100 by combining two Blob Mortys and at level 100 his HP is 290, his attack is 173, his defense is 185, and his speed is 167. This Morty is 5... This Morty is 5'2 and weighs 93.3 pounds. He is transparent and wobbly. <laughs> this Morty's heart dissolved long ago into the clear pink jelly that makes up his current form. He stains anything he touches. Let me get into his combinations. If you start off with Blob Morty, then get two of those, you get Jelly Morty. Get two Jelly Mortys, you get Goo Morty, so he's the middle evolution, and he evolves from Blob Morty. You need 12 badges to get this Morty, he is not rare, and he is not unique. You can see this Morty's brain from the outside of his body. If you go up to him and stick your fingers inside of his ears, you will see your fingers touching his brain. If you have really long fingers, they might even be able to touch through his brain. Honestly, I love this Morty's look. I love Blob Morty, Jelly Morty, and Goo Morty. I think Blob Morty is my favorite looking one out of the three, but Jelly Morty is second, then Goo Morty is third, in my opinion, from that evolution chain. I would recommend using this Morty, especially against rock types. He's very powerful. I'm about to face a Biker Morty. I think I might have done that earlier in this episode, if you want to go back and look at how powerful he is against Bike Morty, or rather Biker Morty, but He's super powerful, and Biker Morty is a very strong Morty with a lot of HP, even though he's a lot lower level than my Jelly Morty, but Jelly Morty does a lot of damage against Rock types, against Paper and Scissors types. He's not the most effective, but at level 100, he will be a lot more effective than if he was facing similar level Mortys. Right now, I'm running into a lot higher level Mortys. You might be running into like 15 to 50 level Mortys, but for me, I'm running into like 75 to 78 level Mortys, which is insane. This means I have to get the Mortys I want to use way more attack Mega Seeds because I want them to be one hit. And for them to be one hit against level 75s, I need to give them about 20 to 50 attack Mega Seeds so then they can be one hit. It just really depends on the Morty and how powerful they were before I got them. And how powerful they are when they're level 100. I really do enjoy making videos and I was wondering if anyone would donate to me if I started a donation page. I've been thinking about starting a donation page for a very long time. That would allow me to make more videos and spend more time making videos. I currently work at one other job. I really don't want to get into what other job I work, but then I'm going to apply for a second job and I'll have to work there unless I start making more income on YouTube. Honestly, I can't control how many videos I will be putting out if I have two jobs. That's a lot of work and then coming home and having to make two videos and still have a social life and being able to get enough sleep so I'm not fucking tired during these videos. That will be a hard juggling act that I don't know if I'll be able to, to do, honestly. So leave your comments right now if you'd like to donate to me or if you think you would. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it because this does earn me a little bit of revenue. I went back and figured out that my recording messed up. It usually does. And I didn't notice it during the recording. So now let me get into his attacks, debuffs, and buffs. First, let me get into his four attacks, debuffs, and buffs that he actually has right now currently. Poison Spit is just a plethora of attacks and poisons. <laughs> he starts off with two normal type attacks that are 30 power each. The first one is 95% accuracy and the second one is 100% accuracy. Then he has a chance of poisoning the enemy, which is 15% accuracy. Then he has a chance of hitting the enemy one more time with 30 power. This is 50% accuracy. And then one more chance of poisoning the enemy with 15% accuracy, that's 5 AP. I was using this attack throughout this video, and I would say a majority of the time, with the poison spit attack, you will hit the enemy three times, and you'll poison them about 15% of the time, honestly. Aurora is an attack buff with strong power, 95% accuracy, and 10 AP. Vile Spew is a normal type attack with 85 power and 95% accuracy. 
It also has a chance of poisoning the enemy with 50% chance of doing that and 50% chance of poisoning yourself. This has 5 AP. Gross Out is a speed debuff with strong power, 95% accuracy, and 10 AP. Let me get into the other attacks you can get if you have a lower level or if you want to go buy them at the Rick Lab, whatever it's called. You know, I think you know what I'm talking about. You can buy attacks, debuffs, and buffs. So Cell Splitter is a paper type attack with 55 power, 95% accuracy, and 12 AP. Moisten is a speed debuff with weak power, 95% accuracy, and 15 AP. Negative Energy is an attack debuff with medium power, 95% accuracy, and 15 AP. Soggy Kiss is a paper type attack with 65 power, 90% accuracy, and 10 AP. Vaporize is a normal attack with 78 power, 95% accuracy, and 8 AP. I hope you guys have a great day. If if you do like this video please leave a like subscribe and comment share it if you want to with a friend or enemy of course i hope you have a great day guys i will see you later bye bye